Hello and welcome. Today in studio we have filmmaker Maria Sahakian, who was one of the top prize winners at this year's Golden Apricot International Film Festival. Maria, welcome. You took away a big prize, the Armenian Panorama Best Feature Armenian Film. How did you feel about that award? Of course, I'm happy. I'm, I'm really <laughs> grateful and I think that's a thing which I already could dream about because, I mean, it's it's really important to be appreciated at the place you live and work. You're an Armenian who's making movies here and uh, tell us when you started thinking about filmmaking. Oh, it was very, very, a lot of years ago. I was 18 year old uh, when I decided that I would like to make films. And after school I graduated with Geek uh, Moscow Film School. And I lived there some time and also my first feature, I shot it in Armenia and it have had relation with Armenia. But uh, it was shot as a Russian production and after this, because it was pretty successful film, it travels a lot, but every time it was a Russian film, Russian film, I was a Russian filmmaker and I started thinking what I really would like to be Armenian and to present Armenia somehow. And from this start this idea to came back and try to do something here and try to I don't know. I know what if you want something, it's possible. So I start. And you made it happen. This movie, I'm going to change my name, was shot here. And tell us the sort of summary storyline of this movie. Oh, it's a, it's a something like a um, portrait of inner life of a 40 year old Everdika. She's a girl living in a remote town and uh, she really needs to understand who is she and she started this to under, with understanding who is her mother and who probably is her father because she never know him and this is very important and so she started her investigation and what she find out uh, people could see if they come to see film so for T's purposes we may never know who her father is you know i think i think people could guess okay so if they watch the movie they'll know uh, yes. if she's yes. finished her journey or not yeah. You had a very specific visual style, a lot of poetry, a lot of imagery. Talk about that. Is that something that uh, you did for this film only or is that your style of directing? I think it's kind of my style because uh, it's, it's something like I have these kind of arms and these kind of eyes, but I mean, it, it came with my roots. My grandmother, she's a poet. My mother and father was artists. So I think this mix come from them. And it's just a language which I only could speak. I don't know another, uh, another possibilities. So in addition to the poetry and the, and the paintings, you used cell phones and chat rooms as yeah. part of your telling storytelling technique. Was that difficult to do? Not really, because I, 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 I'm also part of this internet society. It's not far from me, this story and this kind of communication. And we, of course, we with my friend Victoria, uh, I have actually two of them. One was producer and one our set designer who I think made incredible work because she uh, made all this inner and outward of Everdika, her room. If you saw the film, you could remember this very specific place because actually her room is uh, her cell somehow and it immediately goes to the website like this. And the website also was designed by Victoria Lamshina, our set designer. So. It was almost like a Parajanov uh, creation with all the details that you had in that room and in her art. Uh, were you inspired by uh, not just your mom but other artists? Of, of course, of course, because when you, like, we all absorb art, so probably we also give it back. And I think every time when we, what Parajanov did, he gave a life to, to the things. So every time when you met somebody who is making the same, you say Parajan of like, but it's not meaning what it's exactly Parajan of like, but still for me, everything is also same uh, important as a person, as actors, as music, like everything should have its voice. That's why it's like this. I think. So this is the movie, the woman, uh, this 14 year old looking for her father, searching for her identity. She is talking about changing her name. She goes to the office to request the legal forms. Why this theme? Why are you, as a filmmaker, exploring your identity? Is it a generational thing? Are people in Armenia these days talking about identity more? Probably also like this, yeah, because I could see younger people, they are so much not like even us, I mean, who are now 20, 25 and less. They are so much, they really need new spaces to open, they need new name for themselves. and. 
probably this is also part of it, but for me, uh, this name thing, your parents give you name, but it's not something that you ex accept. You could accept it or you could not. So it's a, it's a question of also self-identification and which relation are you with your parents and with something from you, you come from. Does this mean that young people are also questioning their ethnic identity? Are we Armenians? Are we um, global citizens? Is that a conversation that people may be having? Uh, you know, in, in my case, I, I couldn't say what it's specific Armenian story. I think it, it have much more universal topic also. And what happens with this girl could happen in Armenia, in Greece, in New York. I think and uh, anyway, it would be the same, only visual style and visual storytelling. And mother's part would be an other one. But I see teenagers now like uh, people who are pretty similar in every country. Yeah. Uh, sort of like a Holden coffee of the Armenian Yes, probably, era. yes. The teenage angst yes. and trying to figure out who you are, what you are. But this one happens to be in a small village where there's a train stop and there's a river and a uh, And of course, yeah, of course she has this wish to get out of this place, get out to the bigger world. And we should say that she does get out and she runs into a man and there might be some sort of a relationship going, but we won't give you that much of the movie so you can see it. Let's take a look at the clip right now. Послание для тебя, Кику. Когда ты приедешь, я покажу тебе свой город с высоты птичьего полета. Ты увидишь, на что это похоже. Хотя на самом деле здесь совсем некрасиво. Я хочу изменить себе имя. Но отведут от себя корабли будущего. Всех призраков своей матери она ищет отца. Мам, ты любил моего отца? Да, привет, слушаю. У меня тут родственница приехал. Да, негде остановиться. Может, нет? Кроме дерева, посреди ее острова копошатся птицы. Корни уходят в могилу. Мне отец. Грустные стихи. Про смерть. That clip you just watched from a movie called I'm Going to Change My Name by filmmaker Maria Sahakian, an Armenian filmmaker who just won the Armenian Panorama Best Feature Film Award at the Golden Apricot. What was your reaction like when you screened your film here at the, at the movie festival? You mean my reaction or audience? Your, uh, both. Your reaction as a filmmaker and the audience's. I was very surprised because the uh, hall is full, really, it was no place and even, even I was very sorry because some people with tickets couldn't find their place. I'm very, very sorry for that, but you know, that's, that's not my mistake. And I'm very grateful to them what they came and they have interest to this kind of film and I don't know, I'm, uh, it's, it's still so fresh, like I really, I really wait for uh, Reaction. Reaction. It's very important for me to understand. But what I really could say, what I saw people that age, even more like 16, 18 age, year old, and uh, they said what they liked the film. So it means what this language fit them. It and connected. Yeah, it connected. Were you surprised that nearly 60,000 people turned out for a film festival in Yerevan? I mean, are you surprised as a young Armenian filmmaker that that many people are interested in movies? Yeah. 
but it, it is. Uh, that's why I think the main thing which should be done, uh, I don't know, from government or businessmen or somebody to make more uh, cinema halls here. I think people really need this. For movie theaters. Yeah. What can they do, what can government, what can society do to help young filmmakers like yourself? This. What do you need? Build a new movie theaters. A movie theater. Th we will do by ourselves, but this one we couldn't. So distribution is lacking. Yes, it's very important because you know, it's like in every kind of business. If you need, if you have a, this, <laughs> if you need somebody, it will come. Okay. Was funding an issue for you? I knew you, I know you have a couple of co-productions with different countries. How much, how hard did you have to work to get your funding to make this movie? Now, of course, if we will try to make uh, this movie only for Armenian money, it's not possible at all. Just, just we could forget it. Main money come from Russia and also some money came from Europe. But of course, we had the support from National Film Center. And even if it's not a big money, but it's uh, like, uh, like you have something behind your back, you know, but your country wants you. It's very important to, to step f further. I yeah. won't ask you exactly how much you spent, but what would it take, how much money, uh, dollars would it take to make a movie like what you did, independent movie shot in Armenia? Uh, you know, final, final budget, I will say the numbers, final budget is now 600 euros. 600,000? Six, uh, yeah, 600,000. Okay. Yeah, so th this is it, but it's, it takes so long, it had a big pre-production period, development period, and also very long post-production. And post-production we made twice, because first we finished the film without having really money which we need. So we was disappointed, but we finished it. And after we just get another uh, grant from Russian Minister of Culture, and we was really happy because we made now the proper sound and proper colors, which fits much, much better. It's a dramatic difference in the films in that uh, variant and this. And also, in addition to the existential issues of you know, identity and the storyline, which is very entertaining and, and dramatic, you gave us a really good sense of what rural Armenia is like. You know, the, the people, the places, that came to life for me like you know, I'd never seen before. So, bravo on that. Where do you take this movie now? What are you doing with it? Uh, it was just uh, shown at Moscow Film Festival in Karlovary, and it would go to Locarno. We have already Russian distributors. Uh, We'll see what will happen international, but I hope it will find it, its way. So the Russian distributors are going to put it up in movie theaters throughout Russia? We'll see, of course, limited, uh, limited release, but I think it would be, of course. And My previous film was, was released also. Okay, so hopefully it'll come to the West as well, Europe and, and the US, and we'll be able to see your movie. Um, what is, what is uh, your next project? What are you working on? What themes interest you? Uh, you know, very different because I have already uh, shot it uh, in and in post production the fairy tale. I just I was poking here I think four months ago about this one, and also we have uh, in development uh, new project the florist. It's a script written by Jeff Kaustian, and we are going to co-direct this film. It's uh, much more about Armenia and about Armenian people. But as soon as we don't have more time, I couldn't say more. But I, what I really want to say, I want to share my greatest, I think, discovery for this festival, if you let me Of course, say. go ahead. So, you know, I, I really, I, I was going to see the films because I think it's an incredible opportunity for us living here, see films from whole whole world, because it, it was really good picked films. I, I, would, I was waiting uh, to see them and Finally, they are here. But even if I saw more than 50 films during this week, the best impression and really best film for me is uh, Haratun Khachatkan's new film, this Endless Escape, Endless Return. Probably I, I didn't... So that one stood out for you? Yeah, this one was so, so powerful. I really would recommend any Armenian, uh, not Armenian, but anybody who are going to leave his country, because you want to find easier life or better life to see this film. It's very, very important. It's so honest, it's so strong, and I but think Maria, it will change. you're here to promote your own film, so let's talk about your movie. An excellent movie, you did a wonderful job, congratulations again, and I'm really happy that you took away the top prize, the Armin Panorama Best Feature, and we look forward to seeing more of your movies in the years ahead. Thank you very much for your time. Thank you very much. Good luck to you. And we'll see you next time on CivilNet.